What's up guys, it's Paralyzer here, and today we're going to be taking on the ultimate quiz in Grounded. This map was made by a viewer called Sam, and these questions were insanely difficult. Stick around to the end to find out how well I did, on a scale of 1 to 100. As always, the code is on screen for the entire time, so if you want to play the map yourself and see what score you can get, then feel free. The ultimate grounded trivia how ultimate is it let's find out welcome to grounded trivia here you are knowledge we tested across a series of questions that get progressively harder throughout all questions and answers are updated as of 3rd of january 2024 that's today you can cheat if you like but that would also defeat the purpose of the map side quest there are also 10 sour jewels collectible throughout the map okay there is an additional information on the Sign in front of the entrance. Map made by three lines slash Sam. Have fun and enjoy quizzing. Well, I gotta have a look around to see if I can find any of these sour jewels first of all. There's one. You know me, I love my hidden stuff and my secrets, and I don't ever say no to that. Additional information, welcome to Grand Trivia. During this trivia, there will be a multiple choice question of four answers. If you answer wrong at least once, you lose the ability to get the Supreme Wet Stone at the end of the question. At the end of the trivia, there will be signs to let you know how many was the maximum amount possible and what certain scores mean about your knowledge. Hope you have fun. What creature just flew at you? Weevil, Aphid, Red Ant, Nat. Well, it's obviously an Aphid. Very cool. It's a Red Ant. Regarding that, that question, that was just an example. I really hope you didn't get that one wrong because that was beyond too easy. Stage one, grasslands, easy. Five questions and one wet stone per correct answer. What weapon is located above your head? That is a mint mace, my friend. I think, oh, the chest has the wet stone in, okay. Um, what noise made when you push the red button? That's a water boatman. Diving Bell Spider, Water Boatman, Koi Fish, Tadpole. Is it a Water Boatman? Or is it a Tadpole? I think it's a Water Boatman. It is a Water Boatman. Correct. There's the second Sour Jewel. He don't miss. He really don't miss. Now i got to get out of here somehow. There we go. <clears throat> what is the value of one large raw science and one small raw science? They're 500 and 100, so combined it would be 600. Nice. Two sprigs, three plant fiber, and one pebblet crafts you what tool? This question's kind of wrong, because... Okay, well, it's a pebble axe, but technically... No, it's not. Wait, it's not a pebble axe. The axe and the hammer both require crude rope. The spear requires the plant fiber. It's the only one that requires plant fiber. I thought for a second, like, the plant fiber needed to be crafted into crude rope, but then the axe is multiple pebblets, and the hammer's like five pebblets, so... Makes sense why it was neither of those answers. I'm just dumb and wrong, as always. Right, Sour Jewel number three has been found inside the clover. Question five, if you stored the maximum amount of water in all canteen variants, how many scoops would you have? Okay, so the regular canteen holds two, the canteen plus holds four, the charcoal canteen holds six. So then that would be 12 total. Six, eight, 10, 12, 12. Nice. What's this, checkpoint? Let's raise it. Advanced Grasslands, medium, 10 questions, 2 whetstone per correct answer. Which insect doesn't have a meal named after them? Okay. Larvania, Mac and Bees. Ooh. The Boatman Thin Soup. No, Water Flea, Water Flea, Water Flea. Water Flea? It's got to be the Orb Weaver, right? There's a spider slider, but that's not... Is that named after the orb weaver? Spaghetti. It's spaghetti. That's what it is. It's spaghetti, so it is the orb weaver. Took me a while, that one. Probably longer than it should have. Putting what item in a grinder gives you two plant fiber? Ooh, grass planks five. Ooh, this is a tough one. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. This is a tough one. Tough one, tough one, tough one. I don't think you can put sprigs in. I think it's eelgrass. Oh, 
No, it's not eelgrass. Oh my god. I'm trash. I'm the worst grounded player of all time. Um, it must be sprig. No, I didn't think you could put sprigs in. Okay, so it's clover leaves then. Fair enough. I'm trash. I'm trash. Oh, you can put sprigs in. It just only gives one. Clover's two. Eelgrass is three. Grass plank's five. Okay. I'm bad at grounded. What color would you get if you mix the colors of the smoothies Hedgelord and Waspido? So purple and yellow. What do you get if you mix purple and yellow? You'd get brown on a color wheel. That was random. I get two for that. I love all the random creatures showing up. <laughs> Purple and yellow is brown. Yeah, I know how colors work. Thank you, man. How many total arrow types are there in grounded? Okay. Jesus. Right. Regular arrows, feather arrows, splinter arrows. Super venom, super stink. Mint, sour, um, spicy, salty. Regular venom. It's ten. Lure, regular gas, bomb arrows, 13. It's either 13 or 14. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm going to go 13. I'm going to go 13. No, it's 14. What am I forgetting? What arrow was I forgetting? Pollen. Ugh. Deserves to be forgotten. How many eyes does the infectable spider have? Okay, that's a difficult question, right? Right, so every spider has eight eyes. But, 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 but. The infected wolf spider has some fungus growing out of its face, so it loses eyes. It's not eight. The answer's not eight. It has more than three. It's either five or seven. I'm gonna go with seven. It's only missing one. Yeah. Yeah, it's only missing one to the fungus on the front face. Oof! That was a difficult question. How much pond moss do you need to craft Sarah's charm? One, two, three, four. It's four. It's four. I'm pretty sure it's four. It's not four. It's absolutely not four. Don't listen to me. So now two. That was my initial instinct. I should have just gone with it. What year did Dan Third Hamster die as seen on the grave outside the spider cave? Think. 75, 87, 56, 43. It's one of these two. Based on when the game is set. When is the game set? 87. Yeah, it had to be. Based just on, on purely on when the game is set, it had to be, right? 86 to 87 and another sour. Jewel to accompany it. How many mosquito blood sacks do you need to make the BBQ medley in the oven? Three, it should be. Two, three, four, five, three. So if you look at the image of the BBQ medley, like actual item, um, I'll show you here. If you look at the image, there's three uh, heel basses on the image. That's how I knew that one. How many trinket badges are there in Grounded? Badges? There's seven. No. Hang on a minute. Yeah, there's seven badges. There's the six original, and then they added the health and safety one in 1.2. Easy question. What is the drop chance of the Everlasting Hog Stopper? It's 1%. Unless I don't know my numbers, uh, it's 1%. Question 16. How many normal hits did it take to fully destroy a pine cone with a Black Ox Hammer? I did this in myth busting. I did this in myth busting. It's six or seven. I think it's seven's my gut instinct. It's not seven. Yeah, I got it wrong. We're on to the next stage of the quiz. Let's hit the checkpoint. Thank God. Valid. Oh, I escaped his map. Oh, there's a secret. Oh, I found a sour jewel. I didn't actually escape his map. That was intentional. Let's go. Question 17. To the nearest second, how long does it take to use a biometric scanner? There is no way this man has calculated this. 10's a nice number. It is 8. Who knows that, bro? Who? You gotta ask. Who knows that? Literally nobody. Excluding meals, how many items in grounded are edible? Are you 
kidding me? Excluding meals, how many items are edible? Good God. Sour candy, spicy candy, uh, mint candy, spoiled meat, rotten food, raw nat, grub, aphid, weevil, water flea, tadpole. Then that was 11, 17 if you include jerky, 23 if you include cooked meat, and then we have, so 23 we're on right now. So, apple, apple, hot dog, hot dog, donut, donut, cookie sandwich, cookie sandwich, 31. Uh, Acorn bits is 32. Muscle sprouts is 33. Algae is 34. Aphid, honeydew, and nectar, that's 36. Mushrooms, 37. I was going to say hedge berries. <laughs> Granola bars, 38. 38. I'm like, well, it's got to be 39 then, right? I'm missing one item. It's got to be 39 if we go with the options. What is the 39th item I didn't name? That's the question here. What did I not name? Candy corn, of course. Not bad. I'll take I'll take 38 out of 39. Do you know what I mean? I'll happily take 38 out of 39 items listed out of all of the food in the game. How many bars of health does the infected broodmother have in the second phase? Well, this is a terrible question because it depends on the difficulty you're playing on. It has different health on different difficulties, so that doesn't make any sense. I'm guessing we're going off of medium, 1x health. The infected broodmother has, I think, 3,000 health on stage 2, which would be 30 bars. And then it's 6,000 on stage 3, on medium difficulty, that is. Hard questions, by the way. There's a basket there with a sour jewel in, you cheeky bugger. As if anyone has the eyesight to see that. How many antlion pincers would it take to make three antlion greatswords? 21. Okay, well, it's not 25, obviously. It's either 6, 7, or 8. I'm pretty sure it's 7 per. Yeah. Bro is hiding the jewels in the most tiniest hidden places in the world. What does this say? Congrats, you found a secret room. What's back here? Nothing. That's going to kill me. No, that's going to kill me. It's got to be a jewel. There is a jewel. There is a jewel. There we go. Seven. I want all ten, but I don't think we're going to get all ten. I feel like I'm going to have missed one. To end the lab section, the final seven questions of this section will be bug noises. Press the red button for the sound. A sign next to the button will tell you how many noises are played at once. Good luck. Two noises at once. Oh my god. It's a moth and a mite. How am I supposed to know if it's an infected or regular mite? That is ridiculous. They don't make different sounds. It sounds like an infected one, though. They don't make different sounds, but they do. And I think it's an infected one. That is ridiculous. I can only barely tell the difference in the sounds, to be completely honest. Is there a jewel up here? This would be a perfect spot. <laughs> oh, I need to get a life. What's this one say? One noise, high pitch. It's a stink bug. Yeah. Three noises at once. It's a wolf spider, a lava, and like a firefly? Wolf spider, infected lava, diving bell. Lava, wolf spider, tadpole. Aphid, orb weaver, junior lava. It's not that. Infected wolf spider, B, roly poly. No, it's definitely some kind of lava. It's a tadpole. It's lava, wolf spider, tadpole. One noise, low pitch. How long is this noise? It's got quite fast. Wasn't the koi fish, apparently. We'll go with the mantis then. Yeah, correct. I mean, we got the question wrong, obviously, but that's fine. Three noises. Infected broodmother. There's a robot in there. 
and a mite. Broodmother bee mite. Infected broodmother tasty. I think it's this one. Broodmother tasty mite. Tasty infected wolf spider mosquito. Obviously not. Yeah, it's infected broodmother tasty and infected mite. What? Yeah, it's brood tasty mite then. That's crazy. We lose out on another one. Unbelievable. Question 26. Two noises, one high pitch, one low pitch. As if. It does sound like a wasp and a firefly. No way! That's not a wasp and a firefly. Well, sh should I have read option four? Is that the simple answer to the question here? It's the wasp queen and a firefly, yeah. Well, I knew it was a firefly. Yeah, that's my bad. I pressed too quickly there. Four noises at once. Okay. There's definitely a bee. There's a termite. Some sort of spider as well. Bee, wasp, dio... No. Bee, termite, maybe. Bee, termite, maybe. No. It's one of these two. Bee, infected ladybug, termite, orb weaver. Bee, infected wolf spider, ter... No, it's the one on the left here. It's this one. 100%. I could hear the orb weaver as well. There we go. So where's the secret? Ah, it's over there. Wow, you're already good at finding secrets, aren't you? I don't know, am I? You tell me. 9 out of 10's not bad, but it's not exactly 10 out of 10, but... Oh, I think we have one more section left. Okay, here we go. Stage, beyond the backyard, brackets impossible. 8 questions, 5 wet stone per correct answer. AKA, I will get 0 of these correct if they are truly impossible. I can see it. I'm not stupid. I'm stupid. I'm not that stupid. There we go. That's all 10 Sour Jewels. He said there was only 10 on the map, right? So we found every single one. Now we just have to answer the questions. What numbers written on the canister attached to the back of the assistant manager? Really? Seriously? This one doesn't even have a label. Oh, 10, 100, 1,000, 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 50,000. I have no idea. 5,000. Thirty thousand says PLY. Well, PLY beat you to it. How many rusty nails are located in the top drawer of the toolbox in the upper yard? You are trolling. Three, five, seven, eight, ten, eleven, thirteen. I'm just gonna skip this question. Imagine. Wait. Wait a second. Okay, I'm not gonna cheat. I'm not gonna cheat. I don't know why I'm even thinking like I'm gonna get the right answer. I'm just gonna press a button. Like, I'm not gonna get this right. You know what I mean? Really? There's like 15? 13? Okay. I didn't really read the options fully. To craft every single stuffed bug. <laughs> Nobody knows this. There is not a single soul on planet Earth who knows the answer to this. It's in the hundreds. 283. I'm just the best grounded player in the world. Per serving, how much carbohydrates does a juice box around the map? What? Nobody knows this. It's 20 grams. Yeah, it's 20 grams. I was going for, I thought I knew that eight was on there somewhere. How many total armor pieces are there, including rotten in grounded? I'm never going to get all of these, but we'll try. Bee armor, rotten bee armor. Roly, rotten roly. Clover, acorn, grub. Spider, koi, already named bee. Um, ladybug, that's ten. Black ant, uh, antlion, fire ant, broodmother mantis, infected broodmother, black ox, red ant, moth, black widow, that's twenty. Okay, let's just call it 20. So rotten fin flops, rotten gas mask, regular gas mask, fin flops, fin flops plus, gill tube, bubble helm, um, 
aphid slippers, termite chest plate, bard's tudor. That only puts us at 70. I'm missing so many. Wasp armor, obviously. That's 76. It's more... We're on 76, so it's more important to know. Am I missing any single pieces still? Because if not, then it's got to be three more than 76, which is 79. Yeah, it would have to be 79 in that case if I've not missed any single armor pieces. The eye patch. Aha. I don't think it's 90. I don't think he's counted the wrong gas mask. I'm going to go 79. Firefly helmet. Okay. Might hat. Oh my god, yeah. Firefly helmet, might hat, and what's it called? Wi oh, wizard hat as well. Okay. I was missing a lot of the singles, actually. I think I named all the sets in the game. I think I named every armor set in the game. I think I was only missing singles. Oh, I guess I named the Blackhawks twice, so 74. So then it was, I was missing Might Hat, Firefly Helmet. I was missing Wizard Hat, Marksman Cap, and the Pupa Hat. That's five. And that would have taken me to 79. That's what I was missing. Which of these resources are involved in the least amount of crafting recipes, including buildings? Seriously? Acorn Shell, Sap, Sprig, Clay. Really? Acorn Shells is the armor, the trinket... The shovel. There's so much for all of them. I can't count them all. Oh, I'm gonna lean towards sap. No. I think chat might be right. It might be sprig. That's crazy. The acorn shell is used in 97. Sap is used in 54. Clay is 44. Sprig's 34. Yeah, I never would have got that. I never would have got that in a million years. How many weapons crafting recipes involve lint rope? Lint rope. This one should be gettable, but I can't name it. Turn out Skimitar doesn't involve lint rope. It involves regular lint, so I know it's not that. Black Ox crossbow has to be one of them. Termite axe doesn't. Black Ox hammer doesn't. Fire ant club might, maybe, but I don't think it does, but it might because the game's annoying. Turn out Scimitar doesn't. Widow dagger doesn't. Rusty spear, maybe, but I don't think so. It's rust sunken bones. No, maybe it is lint. No, it's rust sunken bones and splinters, isn't it? I don't know. Um, I'm going to go low and say four. It's not four. Tikamaka Waka Wiwa, the Mantis Scythe. Widow Dagger does? I Does it? Maybe it does. Tonal Scimitar does not. Let's go six. Did they change it? Oh, it's Pupa Hide. I thought it was, I thought it was the other way around. I thought it was... Okay, yeah. Whatever, I'm just dumb. Question 35, how many different smoothies are there in Grounded? Okay, so it's including all variations, Jesus. Slop, or soothing syrup, whatever you want to call it. Green Machine, Boost Juice. Liquid Rage, Hedgeberry. Human Defense thing, human food. The Crit Chance one, Waspidote. Extra Health. Oh, Swim Speed and Oxygen when underwater, that's 11. Oh, Worker's Comp, that's 12. No, but there has to be, right? The options start at 39, which means there's at least 13. I'm going to go 42. No, 39. It was. I was missing one. What one was I missing? Oh, gastro goo, of course. Gastro goo. God damn it. Let's see, shall we? Oh, God, don't kill me. You made it! Congratulations on beating Grounded Trivia. On your left will be your results. How well you did. Make sure to count up your whetstone. We got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 whetstone exactly. Let's see. 0 to 24. That's not me. Nope. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, we got 50. So what did we get? Your Grounded Knowledge is above average. Good job. Above average. I'm quitting Grounded. How many Sour Jewels out of 10 did you find? 10, because I'm good. Teleport back to the start of the map if you want to look for the rest. No, I got all 10 because I'm the best player in the world. Mr. Slightly Above Average. I'm not slightly above average. How dare he? Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like on it, and I'll see you in the next Grounded video. Have a great rest of your day.